Hey folks, JD here, and today we're looking at this look, the little gizmo vine space bug. He's quite a cutie. So, I've just taken a couple of fo uh, a couple of photos now, and now I think the next step is to fly. So a couple of things to remember when you do fly this particular copter. Remember from the unboxing videos, these little cables, be very careful. You don't want to be pulling those, and likewise when you package it and take it with you somewhere, you don't want to be bending or snapping any of these um, little propellers or even worse the printed circuit board that they sit on. So there we go, let's knock her on. <laughs> let's take the controller. Let's bind. And now we should be good to fly. So let's see what she's like. So, right, so let's take her up. Oh, that's nice. A load of nanocopters are really crazy. As soon as you take them off, they sound like a flying bag of wasps. And um, they just go everywhere, bar the way that you want them to go. And you're forever, it feels like you're forever fighting against them. This little dude, look at him go. He's very happy just to go anywhere that you say. Wee! <laughs> yeah, I like this little guy already. He's very, oh, oh dear. Just about as I was to say, he's very simple to control. He decides to fall on the floor. Right, let's turn him around. I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm on about three quarters power and he's just loving a bit of life. <laughs> let's turn him around. Oh, he's so slow to turn. Oh, that is ink. I've never come across a nanocopter like that. Okay, let's land him over there. And then I'll see if I can show you, if you couldn't see him turn, because I, you know, obviously I imagine it's quite difficult to see something as small as this flying quite a way away. So, let's take him off and let's see. So let's take him off. Let's get him up to a good little height and then let's turn him around. Looks like he can do with a little bit of trim. He's damaged somehow. Let's reset the controller and reset the bug. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that bend in the PCB board there. Or PCB rather. Yeah, that... He's not very resilient as this little guy. He does seem to be suffering quite a lot. Okay, so let's knock him back on. Started off so positive. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, ooh, don't know. I'm not convinced. He's kissing the floor quite a lot and he's three quarters of the way on power. But look how slow he turns and then loses control. That wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think this little guy somehow might be damaged. I mean, he didn't come with a um, a power cable. I had to use uh, one other one. So maybe he was a return. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, he you know he's handling okay. You can see if I show you what I'm trying to do now with this controller. Okay, he's acting pretty good. He's acting pretty good. Maybe it's because we're looking at the controller, folks. Okay, let's bring him down a bit. Whoa! Alright, let's turn him around to me. Again, he's so slow to turn around. I've never come across a any quadcopter, actually, nano or full size, which turns around as slowly as that. Oh, come on. This guy is very... I started off by saying he was very easy to control, um, but unfortunately that has altered, but he did have a bit of a bad landing uh, over there. So I'm guessing that maybe that may have done something to him, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look to be, his motors don't look to be out of alignment. Let's just take him round for a little flight. Oh, no, it looks like the battery's going with this one. So let's 
Take him up, 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 up. Okay, so, as we've noticed with this little guy, we try to add a little bit of trim. He goes bananas and uh, the flight has to be stopped. You don't add any trim. You've always got to be pulling back like I am. But he flies okay. He flies okay. I mean, I'm quite disappointed in the quad anyway. Um, I mean, I, I never really expect too much from the Nanos, but I think the ones I've flown the past couple of weeks have been that responsive. And this guy, I mean, this guy would be fantastic for beginners. He is, he isn't fast by any imagination. Um, he is quite quiet as Nanos go. Oh, he's losing power. Okay, let's land him. He's losing power, uh, so I just thought I'd, I'd land him there for a second. Um, I think ov overall, I think this little guy is great for beginners. As long as you just are made aware that he's quite fragile on his propellers and on his propeller arms. The main part of the quadcopter is encased and that is fantastic. I mean that really does serve a purpose for when he was hitting the floor you can ensure the battery which is just under there isn't going to get damaged. Um, he's really slow to turn and I mean really slow to turn um, but once you it takes a bit of practice but once you get him up and once you get him going he, he seems to be all right. I did add a little bit of trim that caused him to fly upside down for a bit um, and round in circles and hit the deck. So I had to reset the quadcopter and the controller just by knocking them both off for 30 seconds and turn them both back on. All in all, I would say for a beginner, good. If you want to learn indoors how to fly these little things, then great, do it. I think you're going to have a good time. If you're slightly more advanced, intermediate, you're probably not going to want it. But above all, you know, it's not always great to be buying the fastest quad. Sometimes you do want something a little bit slower. But this guy's quite fragile with it as well. He does seem to have a few problems which may need ironing out. Maybe there's a space bug too that I don't know of. Uh, in which case, maybe he's got all the problems ironed out already. Um, I'll put a link to the Amazon page. Just in case you do decide you want to start learning to fly quads. And you get this little guy. He's very inexpensive. If you've had similar experiences, let me know in the comments. If you've had, if you've bought this quadcopter and if he's been absolutely perfect for you, once again, let me know. I don't want to give a bad review based on the fact that maybe there might be something wrong with this one and not all of them. Uh, so what I'll say is beginners, great, intermediate, advanced, leave it alone. Um, but there we are, folks. So um, one of my more negative reviews, uh, unfortunately, but sometimes you, it will happen. But there we go. This has been the Gizmo Vine Space Bug. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening. I've been JD. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to be up to date with all my latest videos. Uh, so until next time, my friends, happy flying.